Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. In this one, I was gonna talk about valves and switches and what to consider when setting up your train horn system. I've got a few here in front of me and some more to show you over in the truck. All right, so the first one I wanna cover is a regular ball valve. Uh, all this does, you turn this handle and it turns that ball on the inside and it, that's how it controls the flow of pressure. Next, we have these electronic solenoid valves, and what they do is when they receive power, an electromagnet pushes a plunger and it either opens or closes the valve. This one right here is a quarter inch normally open valve, so when it doesn't have power, it's open. Here we have a half inch normally closed ball valve, so it's, it's always closed until you feed it power, and this is what you're going to find on like the regular shocker system. Here we have a quick connect fitting for the plastic airline that you'll get with a, like a shocker system. Right there it says half inch OD. Um, this is actually 3 8 inch inside diameter and that's what fits in here. And then you would screw it say in here like this. Then right here I have half inch inside diameter airline and this is what I use to feed horns like this. So the last type of valve that I wanna talk about is a metering valve. This is a Graham White 353 valve, and this is different from a ball valve because there's a mechanism on the inside that controls the flow of air, but you don't have to pull the handle nearly as far to get that full control. Now Horn Blaster sells their version of this for a significantly cheaper price, but I've heard that that valve is more cheap and it has trouble with the springs on the inside of this valve. This valve has two springs on the inside. There's, there's a first section of spring and then a second section of spring. The, the longer spring is softer than the second spring, which is stiffer. So for the first section of this pull, it's easy. And then about right here, it gets stiff. And then you pull past that, that's full flow. Now to compare a manual valve with a solenoid valve, a manual valve, you have full control of the amount of air that you flow through, whereas a valve like this has two settings, on and off. You give it power, it opens, you take power away, it's gonna close. Uh, that's the opposite of this one. It's normally open, so when you give it power, it closes, and then you take the power away, it opens back up. And then back over to here, where it takes 90 degrees of rotation to fully open and close this valve. All right, so I wanna talk about the pros and cons of electric valves and manual valves. One of the cons of an electric valve is while it is simple, you don't have full control of the airflow to your horn. Now, vice versa from that, if you go over to a manual valve, you have to run airline to wherever it is that you're gonna to wanna to control this horn from, and it's going to be quite a bit more complex. So to achieve the sound of a manual valve, with the simplicity of an electric valve, what I did here was I took two valves. One is full pressure all the way through, whereas the other one is restricted by a ball valve. So you can essentially do like a half stage and a full stage without having to have all the air lines plumbed into the truck for the manual valve. So for the two stage valve, I have another valve up here. This one's the normally open valve. So when you hit the switch, that valve closes, allows all the air to flow through to the horn. And then when you're done uh, and you come off the button, all your excess pressure bleeds out right here. So one of the downfalls of having a manual valve is you have to run air lines in the truck and you can see mine coming in right there. Now, you don't have to do that if you're running just a regular solenoid, you can run a push button like this, but for the two-stage valve, I actually have it set up on another button over here, where if you flick it one way, it's full pressure, and the other way, it's half pressure. All right, so I'm in the truck now, and I wanna show you how this switch operates. So down is low pressure, and up is high pressure. So if I click the button down, you can hear that blow-off valve. And the same for the if I hit up. The sound you're hearing is that solenoid letting off the excess pressure so that when I stop honking with the button, the horn doesn't keep going until it runs out of pressure in the line. 
So it's just like a bleed off valve. So now I've got it hooked up to where you can hear what it sounds like when the air comes through the line. So this would be your half stage and your full stage. So both of these do essentially the same thing, except for this one uses two solenoids, where that one, it's all in this lever. And then the K3 on the two-stage valve. If you have any more questions about these setups uh, leave them down in the comments below if you found this information helpful don't forget to leave a thumbs up and subscribe so you can always find my channel hey.